Okay, so to add text to videos, you're just going to need this app called Video Leap. If you don't have an iOS device, you're going to want to download this app called VivaCut, which is on the Google Play Store. Ronnie, you're drinking really loud. Uh, yeah, VivaCut on the Google Play Store, which is formatted exactly like this app. So if I teach you how to use um, Video Leap, you'll be able to use VivaCut just as well. So to add text, I'm going to open this template that I made, which is also my channel. You can download it if you want. Um, it's a really good example of how to add and animate linear text uh, to appear from left to right. Or you can make it appear however you want, but um, I would recommend from left to right. Uh, so we've added text. We're just going to make it some placeholder text like red was not the imposter as an example. And then we're going to make it centered. Which is convenient because I've already added and animated our crewmate, which is going to appear centered right along the text. So to make it appear from left to right, you know, you can add, make the text say whatever you want. But to animate it, you're going to want to go to this. Um, on the bottom, you can see I have all these tools. Go to the one that says mask right here. And what a mask is, is it, it's, it's just hiding the text, right? So we're just going to add a linear mask, and it's going to look like this. We want it to appear left to right, so what we're going to do is just flip it this way. See how it appears left to right whenever I move it? That's what we want. We're going to hide it, and then we're going to put red's foot. Oops. We're going to put red's foot directly behind the keyframe right there. And then we're going to add, oh, well, behind the mask, but we need to add a keyframe in order to, um, like, let the software know that that's where we want the text to start showing. So you see the diamond on the bottom right? With the, it, it's, it's, it's got the plus button on it. That means add a keyframe. So I went ahead and added one. And then we're going to move red all the way across the screen. And with red... We're going to want him to end right about there. Perfect, actually. At the very end. And it'll automatically add another keyframe. So whenever you're done with it, it should look like this. So I realized after looking at the video that I made a, a mistake, a uh, typo, actually. I spelled it imposter with an N. So... I guess the best thing to do about that is um, it's, it's a good example of what to do if you do find yourself in that situation. You've already added all the keyframes and um, or all two of them. It's not it's not really that complicated, but I guess I could show you how to like uh, remove keyframes, which is super simple. You just go to the bottom here and uh, click the diamond button, the minus diamond button, and the text will disappear and your mask will appear back to the very beginning of the text where red will be. And then again, to uh, to fix your text, all you have to do is move red all the way down. And add your keyframe at the very end. And it should look just about the same. Now, of course, you could like tweak it to be absolutely perfect or however you want it. But this is just an example. And um, I will link the Viva Cut, the, uh, the app Viva Cut that I was talking about for the Google Play Store in the description. And I will link uh, Video Leap into the, in, into the description. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I hope this helped. And I'll uh, see you guys later.